welcome back to Frankie's Forest, or welcome to Frankie's Forest if you're new to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking about how to promote root growth on your orchids. This can range from anything from a Phalaenopsis orchid, like you see here, to a Dendrobium orchid, or even a Vanilla orchid. It all has the same kind of principle to whichever orchid it is. First, let's actually identify what new roots look like. So, old roots will kind of have a little bit of a silver or a, kind of a gray, and it will be kind of faded. However, you'll see new, new roots will have a much more shiny silver as well as a green tip on the top of the root. And that means that your root will continue growing. When that little green tip starts to fade away, it means that your root has stopped growing. If you see here, there's no green tip to it anymore, so the root is just gonna stay like this and it's gonna produce little offset roots. So the first thing I, I wanna say is that um, you may be thinking if you don't see aerial roots or any roots on your orchid, you may be thinking that there's something wrong with your orchid. However, if your orchid has flowers on it, it's, produce, it's uh, mainly having all its energy go to the flowers to keep them last, to have them last longer, for them to be healthy. And when your flowers start to die, for example, my white Phalaenopsis orchid right here, as you can see, the flowers are starting to die off. And so now there's a whole bunch of beautiful new roots that are growing down there at the base. Those roots are gonna be used to grow new leaves. As you can see, this leaf is almost done growing and it's actually producing a new leaf. If you look over to another one of my Phalaenopsis orchids, you can see the flower spikes are gone and it has a new leaf and new roots that, are, that it's using to produce this new brand new leaf. If you don't have a flower spike and there aren't any roots growing, one way that you can promote root growth is, that, is by using a, um, a growing media such as um, moss, uh, specifically sphagnum moss works the best, or sphagnum moss, however you wanna say it, as well as bark chips. They don't hold moisture as long, however, they kind of mimic the natural wood that orchids grow on in the wild, or some orchids. Also, you want to continue to water your uh, the, the growing media. You don't want it ever to get like really dry because that can actually harm the roots that are down in the soil. By keeping the um, substrate moist, the water inside of the moss or the bark chips will actually evaporate and go up onto the orchid, the bottom of the orchid's leaves, or will kind of make a little mist around the stem that you can't see, but as it evaporates, that's kind of what happens. And it actually promotes more root growth. So it's best not to really use soil when you have or orchids because it really retains that water super well, um, which is good for some plants, not good for orchids though, because orchids need nice airy substrate to be growing in. Because in the wild, orchids don't actually grow inside of um, inside of dirt or inside of moss, really, they actually grow on trees for most orchids. Um, terrestrial orchids, like um, some others that I don't have really any terrestrial orchids. I don't know if any of my dendrobium, I don't know if my dendrobium is a terrestrial orchid, I'll have to see it. But um, all Phalaenopsis orchids are not terrestrial, they actually grow on trees, they're epiphytic, they're epiphytes, which basically means that, that um, they don't grow inside of soil, they grow on uh, a host plant. So whether it's a bush or an, or in the case of an orchid, a tree, they actually grow on a tree's trunk and they hang kind of sideways like this on the tree. So it's best to get a nice airy substrate that can actually prom promote a lot of root growth. Also another thing is when repotting your orchid, I'll get into this in another video soon upcoming, um, but when you repot your orchid, you want to make sure to cut off any dead or dying roots because if there's any roots that you see are dying and, you're, and you think, well, maybe if I repot it in some fresh medium, it'll, you know, they'll bounce back. But no, once an orchid root starts to die, it doesn't really come back. So that uh, death of that root could be, come, could be of a disease or it could just be natural. If it's a disease or if it's mold, that mold can spread to other roots. So it's best to keep your orchid's root system clean. As you can see um, right here, there's a dead root. So in an upcoming video, I'm actually gonna make a video about how to properly repot your orchids. 
so I'm gonna have that video soon up for you guys. Um, one more little thing that I said that's optional is if you have a larger tray, I don't, it, this one kind of fits snug on the pot. Um, for example, with this orchid, as you can see, the tray kind of extends outwards of the pot. You can actually um, put some water in there and put some rocks on the bottom to kind of elevate the pot a bit. And as that um, water evaporates, it'll kind of create a nice humid environment for the plant. Um, that's another thing you can do. I don't really go into that. I just make sure to mist my orchids um, substrate even. I, of course I water it, but I just mist it a little bit, um, which kind of has a similar effect. Other than that, I think I've covered just about everything. If you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to share it with any friends and family you think will also uh, enjoy it. And other than that, happy growing. Bye.